Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Ace Combat 004 Shattered Skies. You know, I don't know why. Ace Combat 4 is literally the only game that has a zero in front of the number, and I have no idea why. Like, literally every other Ace Combat game, both earlier and later, does not have a zero. So I have no idea why Ace Combat 4 is, is, is 04. But whatever, I guess. You know, Ace Combat... It, it, it didn't even come out in in, in, in in 2004, it came out in 2001, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. Escort. March 14, 2005. 15.31 hours. Two civilian aircraft flying through the hills region northwest of Los Canas are under threat of attack by erosion fighters. On board are the engineers responsible for Stonehenge, as well as their families. They are offering information in exchange for amnesty and permission to defect to an ISAF member state. One of the aircraft is flying at an extremely low altitude due to some unknown problem. Your mission is to protect both aircraft from enemy fighters. Make sure they exit the combat area safely. Alright, so this is Operation Noah's Ark. North of Choppenburg, we have to save some civilian aircraft from being shot down. So yeah, this is entirely an, an entirely air to air mission. So let's go pick something that's good for air to air. Let's go pick the typhoon. Uh, hold on. I, let me check. What are the weapons these things have again? XMAAs versus. LAAs. Hum hum hum. Let's uh Okay, for this mission we'll we'll, bring, we'll... should we skip a little bit or should we Hmm. How's the Mirage look? It does not have any anti-air special weapons. So yeah, I think we're definitely going to be skipping the Mirage. Let's pick the Rafale for this mission. It may, it may be just a it may be a multi-role and not as maneuverable as the Typhoon. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, <clears throat> let's pick the Rafale. The RMO or in this game called the RMO one, but you know it's the Rafale, the Rafale M. Delta wing carrier based fighter with a large payload. Leading edge canards make it highly maneuverable. <clears throat> so let's pick this. We are going to be bringing XMAAs, and let's go. Escort. Escort the civilian aircraft. Let's go. Axiom, this is Sky Eye. Please describe your situation. Very few flight 702 here. Erosion fighters are closing in on us at 23,000 feet. Please. 23,000 feet. All right, let's let's climb up and meet them. Here. We were shot on takeoff and our captain's injured. This is First Officer Nagase. Eh. 10 4, an escort is inbound. Both aircraft maintain your course. All right, there is flight 702, and 701 is down there. Maintain altitude. So let's go. Let's go and engage this fighter that's trying to attack Flight 702. Take the captain to the back. Mobius 1, Fox 2. Missed. Missed. Shoot. It's a big Just shooting, you're shooting at him. Alright, he's down. Mobius 1, there's another bandit closing in on Flight 701 at 6,000 feet. 6,000 feet. That's Flight 701, <clears> can <throat> raise altitude? This will assist the ISAF escort. Negative. We cannot maintain cabin pressure if we climb. All right, understandable. So, I, yeah. so why why doesn't seven oh oh two come lower then? Why doesn't flight seven oh two descend then? And they'll if if they're together, it'll make it easier to protect both of them. But whatever, I guess. You missed. Missiles. Fox two. Another Mig twenty nine behind us. On our sick. 
Don't let the passengers see what's going on out there. Missiles away, missiles away. Missed. Missile shot trashed. Box two. All right, he's down. This is flight 702. Several Arusian military aircraft are inbound and closing rapidly. More, Focus more at high altitude. 23,000 feet. Don't let them get near those aircraft. Some F-14s. We can try, we can try the, our... Oh, we got one. That's good. There are two. Locked on. We're losing too much fuel. Target Why are you losing fuel? Oh, I mean, I guess possibly because they're. I guess it could be because they're they're like speeding. They're going at. They're trying to maintain high speed. All right. I believe this might be the last group. So, uh. This is Air Ixium Flight 701. We're carrying civilians. Don't shoot. They know you. They oh, they know you're carrying civilians. They, they don't care. We have civilians on board. Hold your fire. Multiple aircraft Missiles away. Confirmed at 6,000 feet. Flight 701. Enemy aircraft are closing in, but you're almost out of Russian airspace. Yeah, this is the last group. So let's let's take out a couple of them. There's one left. All right, cool. You're the last one. Before, before we uh, take out this last guy, we're gonna head over to the east a little. Actually, a bit to the southeast. Because that's where the ace is. It's a bit, it's a bit to the southeast. There he is. There's the ace. Yes, yes I am. I don't know why he sent me in solo, but here's the ace. New Just keep flying and leave the illusions to the ISAC fighter. Eh. Turn. Turning, turning, turning. Alright, he's down. Let's take out the last fighter. Let's take out the last fighter and, and then our job should be done. Uh, the last fighter that's harassing Flight 701. Is it? Pretty sure, pretty sure that's a war. It, it's a, pretty sure attacking civilians is a war crime. Locked on. But hey, the Gene Geneva Convention doesn't exist in Strange Reel, so. <laughs> Fox 2, Fox 2. <laughs> you mean the Geneva Convention doesn't exist, so whatever, I guess. <laughs> Take him out. He's down. Mission accomplished. Easy. Nice, quick, short Mobius mission. Mobius one, Sky Eye here. Both aircraft have exited the combat area safely. There were no losses. The mission was a success. Nice. Sky Eye, this is Flight 701. All passengers and crew are safe. Please thank the fighter. You're welcome. Passengers and crew from both aircraft were examined by an ISAF medical officer and are in good health. Several states are coming forward with offers of amnesty to the defectors and their families. All right, nice, nice. We have rescued the the civilian engineer, the defecting civilian engineers. Yay! S-rank. Oh, always nice to see. I mean, getting S rank in, in, in Ace Combat 4 is, in most missions, is pretty easy. Since it's mainly just score, it's because it, because it's all score based, so yeah. <laughs> and you know, let's just keep going. That was, a really, that was a real short mission. Let's keep going. Bombs were delivered to their base. This meant that an enemy who had to be fought by those means was close at hand. The resistance blew up the squadron's runway. Yellow 4 suffered light shrapnel wounds. Though the runway could be fixed, the complete loss of reserve supplies was a heavy blow. Logistics support became infrequent following the Allied operations. 
I knew this because Yellow Squadron's crew chief belly ached about this all the time to me. I won't complain if I buy the farm while I'm airborne, but I can't stand being taken out while I'm grounded. Now I understand 13's feelings. Reports of the Stonehenge air raid came in. Yellow floor ran off the others. With no bombs, her plane was light. But her plane was in bad shape. It needed an engine replacement badly. Hmm. Okay, then. Stonehenge Offensive. It's April 2nd, 2005. 1000 hours. We will attack Stonehenge, the lethal weapon that has plagued ISAF for so long. Since it was designed to shoot down asteroids, a few small fighters flying unpredictable high-speed courses should be able to get within range. According to the defectors, its central ECM jamming system disrupts our radar and missile guidance systems. <laughs> Unless this system is destroyed, our mission will be very difficult to execute. HQ predicts a 40% casualty rate for all deployed aircraft. It'll be a tough mission, but one we can't avoid. Now go and reclaim the skies over the mainland. Dismissed. All right, let's, all right, let's go. We're going to destroy Stonehenge today. Operation Stone Crusher. Let's do it. You know, it's kind of weird that high-speed aircraft flying unpredictable courses is hard for Stonehenge to hit. I guess, I guess, it, I guess asteroids have predictable courses. I, yeah, never mind, never mind, that makes sense. <laughs> asteroids do have predictable courses, I guess. Anyways, let's do this. Let's start. Let's get in there. And this is the mission. I actually did want to pick the, the Typhoon for this mission. For a reason, which we'll see in this mission. Delta Wing superior, Air Superiority Fighter with high-tech canards that adjust for different altitudes. I actually have two skins for this aircraft. I have like a standard skin and like a kind of a desert skin. Well, I mean, this is uh, in a desert. Stonehenge is, is in a desert. The Hatai's desert. The Hatai's desert. So, makes sense. So, the EF-2000. Otherwise known as the Typhoon. So, fun fact, the EF-2000 was, I believe, it was called the EF-2000 because it was originally set to, like, to enter service in 2000. But it got delayed, so uh, the name didn't even make sense anymore. <laughs> it was named, I think it was actually named the Typhoon a little bit later. Probably, like, in 2000. I think, it was, I think it was like 2000. I don't even know when when it start they start calling it the typhoon, but actually one country still does call it it the EF 2000, and that's Germany, because they didn't they, Germany didn't like the name typhoon because it reminded them of uh, reminded them of the Hawker typhoon, which bombed Germany during World War II. Yeah, makes sense I guess. <laughs> makes sense. Let let let's just get in the. Let's get in the EF-2000. We are going to be bringing uh, UGBMs. Because these will be great against... The UG UGBs will work very well against Stonehenge. The Stonehenge guns. So let's bring UGBs. Stonehenge Offensive. Destroy all indicated targets. There it is. Okay, those textures pop in on, on, on that turret on the left. <laughs> Ooh. Stonehenge is responsible for the loss of many aces. We're in need of new heroes. Be sure to make it back in one piece. After that. Uh, fun fact, you actually don't have to descend here. You don't actually have to des descend here. You don't actually have to descend here. You won't get you won't get shot down if you, you stay at high altitude as you can see. Oh jeez. Ah, AA guns out. <laughs> I got for AA guns. You know, what why do we bring the tanker with us? Like into the AO. Alright, we gotta destroy first we gotta destroy the jammer. See 
our targets are being jammed because we destroyed the jammer that's in the middle, right in the middle of Stonehenge. We're gonna switch to first person view so we can get a better aim. Jamming facility destroyed. Radar is clear. Alright. Jamming is clear. Let's take out these uh radar th these fighters before they can launch. Did you really miss a, a fighter that was just taking off? How did you miss? Omega 11 engage. All right, they're down. Watch out for these sands. Sam destroyed. All right, we're just gonna before we, en we actually engage the Stonehenge just turrets, the we're gonna go. We're gonna actually gonna go around the outside of Stonehenge and take out the defenses, which are mainly Sam's. Sam destroyed. Look out! This is they expected a forty percent casualty rate, but honestly. I don't, I don't think we've actually. I feel like we haven't really. Well, okay, we've lost some people. We have lost some people, I guess. Missed. Let's take out these fighters. You shouldn't. We don't. We actually don't really have to worry about Stonehenge at this close range. Look out for the missiles. These guys are right on me. All right, he's down. Get out. This F, this this F fifteen is right on me. Get off me. Get off me, buddy. Missile. Yep, I see the missile. Don't worry, I see the missile. And I've dodged the missile. Locked on. Haha. I've got now. How the turns have tabled. Eh, come on. I hate turn fights in this game. Alright, he's down. Just, just the Rafale. Just this Rafale left. Actually, I think there's another fighter on the other side of Stonehenge. I thought this thing was supposed to be e e have high mobility. Come on, game. You said this thing would have high mobility. I mean, it is pretty decent mobility, but I, th I thought it would be higher. You lied to me, game. All right, he's down. Yeehoo! All right, let's start. Sh let's start bombing Stonehenge. So as you can see, one of the turrets is actually out of action because of. What happened to my reticle? Um, what happened to my reticle? Hello? My bomb reticle seems to have disappeared. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I was too low? Probably because I was too low. Anyway, let's drop a bomb directly on, on, the, on that turret. And I should take it out, no problem. Yeah, if we just drop one bomb on the, on, on the turret, it, it'll take it out. Five targets remaining. Five targets remaining. Ow. All right, there's more fighters. Looks like. Let's go deal with the. Let's go deal with them. We've taken out a bunch of the, the turrets. We've taken out like. Okay, there's two turrets left. There were eight turrets in total. One. Well, there were seven active turrets, and we've destroyed like, and there are two left. So that means there's. If my math is right, we've destroyed five turrets. You're in gun range. Target hit. This guy is. All right, there we go. <laughs> 
The radio chatter in this game is uh, something. <laughs> How did that miss? How'd that miss? That was right on you. My guy. Alright, he's down. One fighter left. He's up there. Bandit secure. Come on. Stop dodging. Alright, he's down. Now, before we take out the last two Stonehenge turrets, the st we have bleh. before we take out the last two Ooh, Stonehenge rail guns. We want to go after the ace, who is to the north. Right to the north. To the north of Stonehenge. Directly to the north of Stonehenge. I don't know how many times I'm gonna. <laughs> yes, north, north, north. You know, have I said north enough times yet? Anyways, here he is. F2 Urata. Radar lock. Mobius 1, Fox 2. And he just flew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he just flew headlong into my missiles. That's fine. Cool. Let's head back to Stonehenge. <laughs> we have 21 missiles left. Five bombs. That should be no problem. Here's our chance for a little payback. Yeah, as you can see, w there was actually one turret that we didn't, that was not active because it was damaged by the Ulysses Asteroid Strike. You know, lore. Pickle, pickle. Pickle, pickle. There no... We got pickles. I got all the pickles for you. Alright, one turret left. Let's take out the AA guns, though. Yeah, because you guys, it's not like you guys aren't doing it. I mean, it's not like you guys are doing anything. To earn any glory. Bombs away. And last one. Ow. A -A Let's watch that destroyed. bomb. Boom. Is no explosion because haha uh -huh, uh -huh, emulation. Repeat, has the yep, all, all targets destroyed. Yeehaw! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, mission update. Boop, 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 boop. Five bandits. Incoming bandits. Clear to engage. Let's go. Let's go after them. Clear to engage. But guess what? It's the yellow squadron. I don't care if we only get one. Just shoot them. Evade, evade. Missile shot trashed. Let's engage the yellow squadron. That's five of them. And ow. We're hit, but we, but we got him. Nice. We only have to we actually only you only need to shoot down one yellow. And they're down. Nice. But coincidentally, that's that was yellow four. And it's always gonna be yellow four. Mobius one. The other aircraft are withdrawing. That's a confirmed kill on a yellow. It's a complete victory for the Nice. Woo! Victory! Yeah, yeah, no matter which one you actually each shoot down, it's always gonna be a, a, a yellow four. No matter which no no matter which uh which yellow you shoot down, it's always yellow four. So so whatever I guess. But yay. We've reached a turning point and hope this victory will bring about a quick end to the war. That's it? That's all you have to say? <laughs> We've literally destroyed uh, Stonehenge, the weapon that has been tormenting us for so long, and that's all you have to say? We also shot down a yellow squadron member, and that's all you have to say! Bruh.
Whatever, I guess. We won! Yay! Though he lost four, thirteen never openly showed his sorrow. But I found out. He was alone, quietly gazing at the handkerchief Yellow Four left behind. When he felt my eyes upon him, he said, No matter what, she can't complain. She went up with her plane in disrepair. Pilots are responsible for their planes. He then went on and spoke of the time when they first met. He spoke of when she was just a girl, before he trained her, before she became a fighter pilot. His words weren't directed at me in particular. He was keeping a precious memory alive by speaking those words. The hint of perfume on her keepsake handkerchief. Yellow Squadron's pilot turnover ran high. The skilled ones went in to shore up other units while rookies with little airtime transferred in. Yellow 13 posted an allied paper faxed over by headquarters. It praised the pilot who destroyed Stonehenge. 13 said to everyone, Look, here's something worthy of praise. Even among the enemy there are men like this. Not all of them are despicable bastards who rob our wings through cowardly sabotage. I stared at the barkeep's daughter as she winced at those words. The Allies were coming to our town. Hey. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, I guess that the kid's gonna be liberated soon or something. <laughs> but yeah, we, we definitely just killed Yellow 4 right there, but... Hey, we, we're the good guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.